this economy is going pretty well. I feel like the bottom has to fall out at some point. And by the way, I'm hoping for it because I think one way you get rid of Trump is a crashing economy. So please bring on the recession. The coronavirus pandemic is slamming the U.S. workforce. Now the race is on to help millions of workers before the entire economy sinks. Bring on the recession. These are family businesses that are flat on their back. And these people don't know how they're going to stay open. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's plan to give an additional $250 billion to the Paycheck Protection Program was shot down by Democrats. The money would have been for small businesses to keep their workers employed while they're closed because of the coronavirus. They objected, and I congratulate the Senate Democrats. It's offensive. People out there in food lines, and she's showing off her ice cream. That delay has been uh, difficult for small businesses. Oh, I would actually argue it's uh, better for the smaller businesses. Only in America, when the president tweets about liberation, does he mean go back to work? I think a lot of people should just say no. I need to put food on my table for my family. The partisan games they're playing are having very real consequences across the country. It's been so terrible to have to lay folks off or cut hours. So this money didn't actually have to run out. They were just playing politics with it. The fact that they're playing politics, <laughs> it's unacceptable. He said, quote, this is a tremendous opportunity to restructure things to fit our vision. We have an opportunity now in a recovery act. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. It's an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. One way you get rid of Trump is a crashing economy. So please, bring on the recession.